Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your mid-March reading. So let's pull a card from the Spirit Animal deck and see what is the what is the energy around you, my dear Taurus. Okay, this wanted as well to come out, so let's let's uh do two cards. Okay, there is two energies that um I think is pulling you in. Um, okay, so what I'm hearing is a fear and observation, right? So crocodile, it's a creature, a water creature, um, very much, you know, observing environment and attacking. And then there is a rabbit, a complete opposition, constantly acts um, based from a fear place, right? So they constantly listen, they constantly um watch this space, this surroundings, where I think crocodile doesn't have that much of fear. It's more observation and attack. It's the consistency, it's um, assurance. So I think, you know, some Taurus will be pulled like in two places. Maybe some of you Taurus um, have to make a very, very important decision in your life and you are calcul calculating your risk. You you kind of, one, one side of you believes that this, this is definitely a good opportunity. I need to go and do that. And another part of you is kind of scared and fearful because there are elements in that situation or that particular decision that you need to make some some pieces that you are unfamiliar uh, something that you can't predict and you can't actually know how it will work itself so these are the energies that kind of controlling you um in the you know in the next two weeks my dear um taurus um let's let's see what else we can get to clarify this message uh, my dear taurus So we have four of cups, seven of swords, we have page of cups, and we have justice, beautiful cards. So what I am seeing here for you, there is, there is basically a story for love matters, and of course there is a, some sort of betrayal that had happened and i feel that you have many options maybe several options in terms um dating and i feel you're questioning which person you can trust and which which one could easily sort of um lie to you and maybe deceive you you know do things that maybe really in the future can hurt you and you kind of you know like i said this crocodile and rabbit energy is very much like a split energy you have to make a decision who to choose um you are not really happy with both of these options because they don't really take all the boxes Right, so if we are talking about uh, an individual for the heart matters that you need to decide because you are dating, you know, several people, it seems that the justice will come. It seems that you will find that decision, and if you look into justice, there is um, there is two pers persons, right? So we see one individual and here upside down another individual i feel really it's a decision between two two either you know uh romantic individuals if you if you are dating and you have to make a decision you're definitely going to have a very clear decision made um but I have to say as well, equally, I feel that it could be related to work. If it, if you are looking for a better opportunity stores, you have uh, choices, but you obviously don't want you know, to join an organization that you feel that has no real values, that, that does not really adding any 
um, not just for you, you know, that's uh, synchronized with your sort of values and core beliefs, but equally, what does it give for outside? You know, you're questioning that ethic behavior. And I feel, you know, that the, the decision you will be making um, very much, I would say, before 18th of March, before we have the full moon. And let's let's clarify further this message. What we can get. We have the Wheel of Fortune. You definitely have very good um, offers. Um, three of Wands. There is King of Pentacles, with a, which I believe it's you. And the Judgment. Okay. So... From what I'm seeing here, I feel that you have a major arcana, justice and judgment. It's like your inner self is being called to a completely different way of seeing things and making decisions. Now, if we're going you know, to the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups, I feel that you have several international opportunities. The Wheel of Fortune is... Um, upside down, sorry, um, upright, um, it's not upside down, but what it means, it's turning, right? And it can actually at some point be upside down. So when we have the Wheel of Fortune, you still don't know where this will land. You're still making your decision. The universe is not going to make the decision for you. It's waiting for your action. And I think, you know, we have such a strong astrologically um, speaking, you know, energies, cosmic energies that you sort of are called actively to make a decision. Uh, universe not going to, to do anything. It's giving you presenting opportunities, but it's you who needs, you know, to make the decision. And now we have the seven of swords and we have three of wands. I feel like I feel like you have experienced this before. Um, I feel that you have been uh, it's like you have made in the past a very similar decision, very similar choices um, presented to you and you had you know to make your your decision, you know, whether, whether it was to do with the traveling, you made the decision, but actually it, it felt quite um, like a bad choice, like a bad opportunity. And probably that was very, very recently. And I feel like, like you feel that the betrayal that is still lingering with you, um, Taurus. Um, then we have uh, King of Pentacles that clarifies Page of Cups. It seems that your emotional self is very uh, content with, you know, things that you have. And I feel that, I feel that it's you. I, I feel that you are tapping into your emotional self and you are questioning uh, your heart. Is my heart desires, you know, sits um, together with my sort of um, projection of future when it comes, you know, the winning, the, the benefits, the tangible outcome. It seems that you are in a very nice harmony. Um, you know, you, you, you are happy where you at. Um, and you will have to, you know, to make a decision whether you're going to make the move, the, the offers are there or, you know, kind of like, say no to to any of this you know opportunities this came it, like i say if it is if you are dating several people you can even you know decline and say you know what neither of you are good for me and i actually quite happy where i am you know being on my own i don't really need to push myself to make a decision it's sort of that that thinking let's let's clarify you know that romantic person the decision on that romance. Um, just I will pull one fairy card. The shadow of the past. Yes, so for some of you, you are afraid to get hurt with the person who is being on off, who was actually probably shadowing you. Um, poor communication came back into the picture. You are already dating someone new. 
but you are not quite sure because you have maybe still some I wouldn't say feelings, but I think it's more um, nostalgic uh, memories, um, and and you need you know to make a decision. But you, I think you are actually coming to a realization, Taurus, that neither the new person or that past person can be a part of your success and your beautiful life. It seems that they really are not. Not, you know, those strong candidates where you say, you know, I definitely want, you know, to commit my life. And equally, if it is work related, I don't think that these offers that presents are really the offers that you feel would be the best choice for you um, to go and explore. I think you're going to decline whatever is co coming, you know, and presents itself. So that's the reading. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments, share, like, subscribe, help my channel to grow and I'll see you next time. Take care.